What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute legs workout. No equipment needed, so grab your glute resistance bands if you have them and let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome to your 30 minute legs workout. As I said in the intro, you don't need any equipment today, but if you want to grab your glute resistance bands, you can grab them. And exciting news, they are finally, finally, finally back in stock now. We have the three colors, the pink, the purple, and the teal, and we also have the blackout set. So if you're interested in all black, there's an option there, or these three options as well, light, medium, and heavy for both color sets, okay? So I know you've been waiting a long time. Trust me, we have two, but they are in stock now, and you can grab yours in the description below okay if you don't have them today you do not need any equipment but we're just gonna rock through a body weight workout okay 30 minutes I'm gonna keep you moving the whole time so go ahead and step out nice and wide give me a thumbs up if you're ready for this warm-up all right hands on your hips we're gonna turn your toes out to 45 degrees and we're gonna slowly sit in your squat in three two one all right here we go sit it down and up good we've got a quick warm-up and then we're gonna jump right into a squat circuit then we've got a lunge circuit. Good, one more. And bring your toes back facing forward, heel to glute. Try to keep your hips nice and pushed forward. Okay, we've got a squat circuit, we've got a lunge circuit, we've got a bridge circuit for your glutes and your hamstrings. And then at the end, we've got kind of a power circuit where you're moving on command. All right, step it back to the back of your mat. We're gonna go high kicks. Make sure you've got some water and a sweat towel around you as well. Great job. I'll be using all three different strengths of my glute resistance band today. Like I said, you don't have them. This is still gonna burn really nicely. Good, last one. There you go. Step it nice and wide and we're gonna go squat, hip lift, and stand. Okay, let's go again. Squat, hinge, stand. Good, we'll open up the hips and then we'll stretch the hamstrings and come right back up to activate the glutes. One more squat, hinge, glute squeeze, stand. All right, great job, come back to the front. Let's get a little butt kick action going on. Low impact, you're here. Give me a little hop. There you go, three, two, one, all right, hands across your chest. You will be engaging your core today. There we go, all right. So first circuit, we're gonna get into it in about 10 seconds. I'm gonna use my medium band, and we're gonna start with just a squat touchdown, okay? So knees are out here. We're gonna go squat, touch, stand. Okay, let's go together in two, one. Here we go, down, touch down touch so you're staying at the bottom got a little twist turn and come up now if you don't have a glute resistance band feel free to go down touch little hop okay but I do want that tension on your legs the whole time good this is a short workout but we are working on endurance okay so keep your core tight Good, give me about 10 more seconds and then I'll show you what we've got next. There you go, three, two, one. Come back into the middle. We're gonna keep it low. Two options here. You can go baby squat pulses out or touch out, okay? Low impact option will just, option will just be the touch. Let's go. Good. And you'll notice I have my hands on my hips. That's to make sure I don't get here. I'm still pushing my hips back. Baby hops in, out. To slow it down, maybe you slow the pace down. Here, here. Okay, under your hips and then outside your hips. Great job. 20 more seconds. And then we'll switch it up again. Keep the knees over the toes no matter what. So don't let them cave in. Eight, seven, three, two, one, square squat pulse. 
We take it here, facing the right. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. Okay, so you're making a square, front, back, side, side. Ready? Let's go, two pulses. Hop and turn if you would like, or just step and turn. There you go, when you get one full rotation, go the other way. Great job. The whole point is to keep your knees out. Okay, keep your quads working. Woo! 13. Five, four, three, two, one, and last exercise of your squat circuit, squat side lift. So you're going squat, heel drive. Okay, it doesn't need to be way up here parallel with the floor, just about 45 degrees. Let's go. And when you give me this lift, I want your hips extended, then lift. So make sure it's not here. Okay, come up, lift. Sit, stand, lift. Okay. Keep your chest upright so you're not here. Right here, over your foot on the floor. Good, and just drive that heel to the sky. Good, keep the knees out. Yep, here we go. Seven, six. Two, one, 10 seconds to shake it out. We go one more time through those four, okay? We start with that squat, sit, touch. Ready? Three, two, one. Sit it down, touch, stand. And the challenge here is when you rotate to not let yourself cave here. I want you to keep it out, okay? That's the whole point of this one. Don't shift everything, come here. Turn your hips and your chest, not your knee. Think of your knee and your pinky toe having a really close relationship today, okay? They stay out towards each other. Fifteen seconds, good work. Seven, six, Three, two, one, rest. Good, 10 seconds, squat pops. Close wide, close wide. If that's uh, with your jump, fine. If it's not, you're stepping in and out, okay? Whew, let's go. Same thing, knee and piggy. Both of them are going out. So like I said, piggy. <laughs> this little piggy on the outer edge needs to stay with the knee. Good, press out, press out. Good job, come on. And by the way, if you don't have a band, you're still likely feeling this burn. That's the whole point. If you don't have a band, challenge yourself to go lower. Everyone's challenging themselves to stay down. Ten, nine, whew. Almost done with the squat circuit, then we'll take the band off. Four, three, two, one, rest. Ah, two pulses in a square. Right, middle, left, back. You make a full rotation, then switch directions. Two, one, let's go. If you can hop, turn, that's fine. Good job, Woo. keep the tension, keep that seated position. There we go. 15. Four, three, two, one. Woo. 
Okay, squat, side leg lift. And then we take the band off. Three. And let's go. With the leg that's on the ground, make sure you're not letting it shift. Keep it right here as your heel drives away. Come on, push through the burn. You're almost there. You're doing great. Outer edges of your foot. Heel is down. Then you lift it high. 12, 11. Seven, six, three, one more. And rest, good. Take your band off if you're using one. Whew. All right, now I want you to keep your left leg planted for me. We're gonna go forwards, backwards, lunges. Okay, forwards and backwards, let's go. Left leg stays here for the whole 50 seconds. Okay, option. You wanna step it up, give me a hop at each side. Okay, but I want you to nail the front and the back form first. You're always powering off your front leg. So you get out here, heel to toe, big push back. You step it back, stand up on this front leg. Always wanna get that front heel into the floor. Good, 13 seconds. All you're gonna do is switch sides. Four, three, two, one, shake it out. Same thing, you're gonna pin that right foot down, forward, backwards. Okay, great job, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. And if you wanna step it up, jump, add a little hop at each position, okay? Know that you're getting the form right. Use your arms. Great work, you've got about 20 seconds. Whoop. Ten, nine, good job, eight. Come on, stay working. Four, three, two, one, good. Now, leave the left leg out front. Okay, we're gonna go hands up, pulses. Right here. Left leg stays, you sink down and stay down. Let's go. Option to modify, come up, sit. Okay, if you can stay down, I want you there. Think about your chest, your abs, and your knee. I want the knee staying out. Great job. Your weight is distributed between your two feet. So make sure you're not just up here, right? Sit up. The weight is between your heel in the front and your toe in the back. Really driving those feet in to get your torso away from the floor. Rest. 10 seconds rest. We go to the other side. Same thing. Okay, heel down. Make sure you are hip width apart here. Let's go. Pull your core in. If you need to grab onto something for balance, grab onto it. Slow it down if you need to. This, the lunges don't feel good for you. I want you to take a staggered squat. Okay, so my foot is about 12 inches back from where it would be in a squat. So I've got weight in both feet, predominantly using the front leg. Okay, if that feels better for you, go there. The whole point is to get this one leg isolated. 10 seconds, and then we'll go back to that pendulum lunge. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. 
All right, we plant the left leg. It stays here, so the leg that was just out front is now the one that's moving, okay? Left leg stays, lunge forward, backward, let's go. If you wanna step it up, hop at the front, push back, hop at the back. I challenge you to step it up however you can. We're going into a glute bridge circuit next. So quads will get a tiny break. Good job, come on. Whew, great work. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, other leg stays. So my right leg stays now. Pendulum style. Let's go. Right leg stays here. Step it back and let's go. You can go back, hop, or just step forwards and backwards. Use your arms. Think chest and hips always point forward. Okay, I'll see some people when they do a lunge, step back and their hips open up. Then it's really hard to maintain balance. So keep everything, hips, chest, pointed forward. Okay. Step out front, heel first and then toe. Heel, toe. Seven, six, Come on, push, push, push. Three, two, one, rest. All right, right leg was just here working. We take the left leg here, lunge pulses. Okay, two, one, let's go. I want you to keep your hips forward, pull your abs in and sit down. Another option would be to keep that back leg straight push forward like you're doing a single leg leg press but only go there if you feel confident about your form your knee feels okay when you do it okay there's a lot of forward pressure so make sure you're able to control that 20 seconds six Five, three, two, one, good. Step up and switch. Both legs bent or one leg bent. Whatever way you're doing it, core is tight. Knee stays outside. Let's go. Good, and the same thing here. You've got basically three options. You can go with the lunge, single leg, press up and back. Or bring it up front here, isolate that leg, but still kind of a squat formation, okay? So wherever you feel the most challenged and safe, I want you to go there. Great job, I'm with you. Give me 15 more seconds. Seven, six, four, three, and rest. Beautiful job. All right, we're gonna take, taking it down to the floor. I'm gonna grab my heavy band now. We're going for a glute bridge circuit. Don't need your heavy band, don't need a band. But we've got three exercises and a glute bridge. Okay, 10 more seconds and we'll start with just a regular bridge, outward knee extension. Okay, so. We're laying it down, come up, out, down. Let's go. Now, if you feel good about this, I want you to stay up, tuck your glutes under, watch me. Stay outward right here. Slow outward push and slow release back in. The more you control the tempo, the tougher this is. When your knees go out, your hips do not drop. Take a look at your hips. Are they going up and down? 
Okay, I need you to fix that. Squeeze your glutes together a little harder on the bottom part of your butt. Don't let your hips drop. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds rest. We're gonna stay in a glute bridge. Take it back up top and now we're just lifting the heels. So as you lift your heels, squeeze your glutes under. Ready? Let's go, keep it up. Lift and lift, come on. And it's okay if you need to readjust your feet a little bit. The point here is to get kind of the calf involved. So the whole posterior part of your leg or the back part of your leg is rocking right now. Great work, keep the knees out. Good, come on, squeeze the cheeks together. 15 seconds, 14, 13. Seven. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, now if you're gonna do the band, I want you to do one leg at a time, okay? So put the other one on your foot, lift, switch, lift, switch, okay? You're just kind of getting it out of the way here. Let's go. This also decreases the transition time. So if you wanna go here or here or here, that's fine. But just putting it here for the second that you're on that single leg, allows me to give you more reps. Good job, 10, nine. Two, one, good, rest. All right, lay it down flat. We're back to the abduction. Bridge it up, knees go out. You doing okay? <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go. Bridge outward. If you need to go down, you can. If you can stay up, stay up. Give me a slow abduction, slow release. Abduction just means taking your limbs away from the midline of your body, so away from your spine. When we take our legs outward, that's an abduction. Come on, squeeze your lower glutes together. Don't worry about how high your hips are. Worry about how hard you're squeezing your cheeks together. Now slow that open and close down. Nine seconds, eight. Good, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. Whew. Drop it down for a second, roll your knees up to give your back a little break. We're going back for those calf raises if you feel that you can. If not, just stay in the glute bridge. Let's go. And you wanna make sure if you can look down towards your knees, make sure you're not lifting more with one side than the other, okay? So if you feel a shift side to side, you might be pushing too hard with one foot and not the other one. Lift the heels, squeeze the glutes, come on. And if you need to go down in between, that's fine. Go down, up, calf raise, down. Great work, come on. Whew. Let's go, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Nice job, single leg march. All right, just shift it to one side, lift with that side. Three, two, one, let's go. Beautiful, last round. We're gonna go nonstop. We're gonna take the rest out because we're all here. We don't have to switch positions. It's bridge, outward pulse, bridge, calf raise, and then single leg bridge, okay? No wait, this is round two, so this is it, sorry. My fault, this is it right here. 
We're going into our next circuit after this. My fault. Trying to mess up your workout. Nine, eight, seven. Sorry about that. Four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, roll it on up. Now I'm gonna grab my light band. Optional if you wanna grab it. Do not need it. I'm gonna take the light band though. Okay, three moves. I'm gonna start with tempo squat jumps. You do not have to jump, but it's a slow controlled move. We take it down three, two, one, up. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Push your hands back and lift here. If you're not jumping, slow sit. Keep the knees out. And with things where you're jumping like this, it helps to have a resistance that doesn't slam your knees in when you go up, right? Make sure you can control it. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Come down to a bear crawl now, right here. Okay, you're gonna listen to me say go. When I say go, you go plank, come back in. Okay, keep the knees out the whole time. Ready? All right, here we go, bear crawl. Stay right here. Go. 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 Pull your abs in, pull the ribs in. Go. Good job, come on. Go. Stay here. Oh. Come on, I know, I know. Go. Keep the knees right under the hips. Go. Now give me two more goes, ready? Go, go, hold for four, three, two, one. Rest and come down to your left hip, okay? Options here, stack your legs, lift. You wanna go into a full plank? That's fine, you're lifting there as well. Ready, let's go. I would love for you to keep this foot off the ground. Good, open chest, open hips. Woo. Keep it up. We're only doing this side, this round, and then we'll go over to the other side, last round. 17, 16, 15, when we're done here. In 12 seconds, we're just gonna go right into one, two, three. Last three exercises, no break. That's what I was thinking of in your glute circuit. Four, three, hop up to your squat. Two, one, let's go. Tempo down for three. Three, two, one, go. Now work on, can you give me more height out of this squat jump? Think of your sitting, 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 and then you sit on lava. Go. Ten more seconds. Good job. Eight, seven. Get ready to go to your bear crawl in five, four, three, two. One bear crawl, come down. Stay here. You've got 50 seconds here. Listen for my go. Go! Come back in. Hands right under the shoulders. Knees right under the hips. Go! Whew. Come on, push through that shakiness. Push through the burn. Go! Hot bowl of soup on your tailbone. Yeah, I just spilled my soup. Okay, come on. <laughs> 15 more seconds, go. Drop your knees. Go. Oh boy, I'm with you, come on. Stay here for five, stay four, stay three, two, go. And flip it over onto your side hip, right into it, let's go. This is it, right here. 
50 seconds right here. No stopping. Come on, pull the abs in. Lift that heel to the sky. Whew, let's go. 30 seconds. Don't slow down. Don't drop your leg. Even if you have to drop your hip, keep it going up. 20. Come on, stay with me. Eight, seven, four, three, two. No, I'm sorry. 10. That was terrible. I'm so sorry. Eight, seven, six, five. Now the real countdown. Four, three, two, one. And flip it over onto your glutes. You have made it to your cool down. Oh my goodness. All right, let's stretch your legs straight out front. You can take your band off if you have it. Take your legs straight out front. Reach, reach, reach. Sorry about that terrible, misleading countdown. <laughs> Great job today. Like I said, we now have the bands available in stock. Finally, finally, finally. I know you guys have been like, where the heck are they? Trust us, we have to. Cross your left leg over. Turn away. Really drive this knee over. Come back to the middle switch. Push the knee across. Beautiful, come on to your hands and knees. I am so proud of you guys today. Whew. Bring your arms out nice and wide. Drop your chest to the floor. Think about your shoulder blades pushing on your spine. And then sit it back, back, back. Bring your hands out forward. Just relax your spine. Amazing work today. Use this workout anytime you need a really good, quick burn. Come on up to standing for me. Anytime you just need that good, quick burn, get something in, leave you feeling strong, feeling great. I'm very proud of you guys today. Whew. All right, switch legs. Just want you to remember your strength. Okay, remember, you can do this. No matter if it burns, no matter if you're feeling shaky, if you're feeling wobbly, it's scary because this is not easy, right? Bring your hands to the front. Let's just heel to glute. Kind of just relax your legs. Three, two, one. Good. Take the legs nice and wide. If your legs are vibrating, mine are too. Shift it over to the side. Open it up. Good. Bring your hands into the middle. Let it hang down. And then slowly roll over to the other side. Same thing, reach it up and over. I'm telling you, my obliques are still sore from that yoga move where we did the, the oblique crunch. My obliques are still sore. All right, guys, so you've made it to the end of your workout. I'm so excited to be rocking with you every single day. Grab your glute resistance band set. As you can see, all three strengths are perfect for different types of movements. So I use my heavy for a glute bridge movement where there's not too much going on, but I do want to put a little bit of outward force. I use my pink band, the medium for squats, for any kind of standing lateral moves or standing just isolation of a squat. And then I use my purple band for anything where I'm jumping, I'm lifting on the ground little pulses. So they all have a really specific point a really specific level of challenge. They do have desired strength. So if you overuse the purple one, it's not gonna serve you as well as if you would grab that green one and really get stronger there. Or if you grab the pink one and really get stronger there. So I cannot wait for you guys to rock these with me. Any of the workouts here on the channel, I have a glute resistance band playlist on the channel. So if you have yours looking for more of this, go there. If you're gonna get yours soon, you wanna start incorporating them, use them in leg workouts and use them on any of the workouts in the glute resistance band playlist on the channel here, okay? But most of all, let's just keep rocking every single day. I'm so excited to be challenging you, to be rocking with you, to be getting stronger with you right alongside you, okay? I truly love this journey with you and I'm so thankful for you. So make sure you check out the links in the description. I, I wanna know any way that I can help you. And down below is kinda where we can connect further after this, okay? So great job today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below that you crushed it with me. Whew. I will see you guys back here tomorrow. I love you, bye.